12 ways to select cells in excel hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this tips and tricks video series i'm going to show you 12 excellent ways to select cells in microsoft excel let's get started <laughs> The first one is select a single cell. If you click on that cell, that is selected. If you use the arrow key to go to the cell and that is selected. Select multiple cells. Just select a single cell by clicking the mouse, drag it and the multiple cell has been selected. Now if you want to use the keyboard, use the shift key and then the arrow key to select multiple cells in it. Just like this one. Shift and arrow. Multiple cells selected. Select the first cell, press the shift key and mouse click. First cell, shift, mouse click. Total area is selected. Select the entire worksheet. Just click here. You can see this one and the entire worksheet has been selected. Or you can press Ctrl and A in the keyboard and the entire worksheet is selected. Select non adjacent cell, you will need to select using mouse click and then press Ctrl, then select using mouse Ctrl and mouse click and drag. Ctrl, mouse click and drag. So, non adjacent cell has been selected. Now, if you want to do this with your keyboard, you have to select using Shift and Down arrow. Then press Shift and F8, and you can see here add or remove selection. Okay it will switch on now navigate using the arrow key and then press shift and then select now if you need to select more non-adjacent cell then press again shift and f8 and you can see add or remove selection has been activated now navigate using arrows and shift select so this is how you do it now select an entire row or entire column. Mouse click on the column name and the entire column is selected. Mouse click on the row number and the entire row is selected. Using the keyboard, you will go to the first cell of the column. Then Ctrl Shift down arrow and entire column has been selected. Go to the first row, Ctrl Shift right arrow and the entire row has been selected selecting adjacent column click on the column name and drag the mouse and the adjacent column has been selected now if you want to do it using keyboard shortcut press shift and arrow key and then Control shift down arrow selected the adjacent column selecting non adjacent column select the first column press the Control and then select the non adjacent column by mouse click and the entire column has been selected if you want to do it using keyboard go to the first cell press Control shift down arrow. now remember that shift f8 function so press shift f8 and now go to the first cell of the second row and then again Control shift down arrow okay if you need to do it again shift f8 and go to and then Control shift down arrow select the first cell or a row or column or the last cell of a row and column using mouse you'll have to go to there and select it by mouse click and to go to the last cell you'll have to scroll to the end of your worksheet and select that friend and if you want to use keyboard shortcut just Control down arrow for last row and Control right arrow for the last column Go to the last used or formative cell by mouse click you will go to the cell or if you want to use the keyboard shortcut control end will get you to the last cell or last formatted cell if you press control home it will move you to the first cell select up to the last used or last formatted cell control shift end it selected the last formatted cell if you are in the last cell then control shift home the last tip in this tutorial is rectangular selection. Select a cell, press shift and select another cell. Select a cell, press shift and select anywhere you want. These are the 12 tips on selecting cells in Microsoft Excel. If you like this series, please let me know. I will create more videos regarding this. I would like to thank everyone because we just crossed the 10,000 subscriber milestone. Without your support, I could never do it. Thank you very much for your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.